Hurry one, so I'm That was the weirdest noise I've ever heard. Um, hey, so I'm sorry that my hair is up, but it's like third day hair. And today I'm going to be doing my January favorites. So let's just hop right in because I don't have a lot, but these always are really, really long videos. So let's just get started. The first one is this, and I've been wearing this a lot. And at the beginning of the month, it was just um, kind of just like the darker colors. I used to do smoky eyes with this. And now I just use the, the lightest shade as like a highlight all over my eyes. So I've been using this all month since actually December because I got it in December to do a New Year's tutorial with it. So I've been using this for over a month now and I really like it. And it's the Expert Wear uh, Quad in Amethyst Smokes. So it's by Maybelline and I really, really like it. So I do have a tutorial with this um, look. That is my New Year's tutorial, so you can go ahead and check that out. And, yeah, I've been liking that. The next thing, actually, from Maybelline. All, all of, everything is from Maybelline. <laughs> I've been liking Maybelline this month. Is the Maybelline Lime Stiletto. I've actually had this for a long time, but I just repurchased it today because it dried up. And I've been using this a lot. Like, when I started off just using it to make my wings because I like winged eyeliner. Um, and I used to use my just um, L'Oreal Linear Intense so to line my eyes because I didn't know how to use a felt tip and I like the brush tip because it was easier. But now I use this for my whole eye and to line, you know, my little wing. And it's just, you know, line stiletto and I really, really like it. Um, it's new so it's beautiful. Yeah, I got it in the blackest black color because it was brownish black and I almost got that color, but I, I didn't. I got it in the black. Is it just me or is it annoying when like your ponytail is on like the back of your head? Like I like it more to this side so that you can tell that I have like long hair and that I'm not like just slicked back, but I really like this. And my next product is this and this is actually a lip balm. It's the Dr. Rescue in what are you in the soothing sorbet and my lips have been extremely chapped recently so I've been putting this on a lot and I like some color on my lips because I don't like really my natural lip color I feel like it's really washed out and I like just like a subtle like a reddish kind of tint um, it's like a berry color and it's really really pretty and I like it a lot and I like the Dr. Rescue because it has menthol in it and um, it just helps with chapped lips and the last favorite is this and it is the instant age rewind eraser for dark spots so I don't know if there's like an under eye one and a dark spot one I'm not really sure but I got this one because I wanted it to be lightning because I put it underneath my eyes and whenever wherever I get red so around my cheeks and also on my breakouts because it's really thin but it has great coverage so I am obsessed with this little thingy and it has a sponge tip which I actually don't really like because I feel like that's just bacteria city right here so I'm probably gonna like rip it off um, because it's kind of gross, you know, but it's an amazing consistency and I love it so, so much. So I would definitely recommend this to like everyone. First, I have this nail polish and I wanted to include a nail polish because I love doing my nails. And so I wanted to do this one because I've been wearing this the most. And it's just like a glitter, glitter coat and it's by LA Colors Color Craze and it's just like the silver glitter one. It has like bigger glitters and then like smaller glitters and I'm wearing it on my ring fingers over like any nail polish right now I have China Glaze First Mate on my nails with like the glitter on my ring fingers and I just really like the way it looks it just looks so nice and I just really like it next I have like um still beauty but it's like shower stuff so I just got this actually in a boxy charm box I don't know what they're called but I got it sent to me but they're sending me, I guess, another one because one of the products were, like, not good for you. I, don't, ah, I didn't really read the email. They just said they were going to send me another one and not to make the video on that one. So, yeah, but I got this in that box. And it's the 
Um, it's like a monthly subscription kind of thing. I'll do a video on it when the, um, the new one comes and then you'll know about, know about it. But um, this is the Revali. I have no idea, but it's just warm vanilla sugar, brown sugar body polish. And I used this yesterday actually, so I guess it's not really January favorite because I've been using it all month. But it's definitely going to be a favorite now, so I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It's like really slimy. I don't know. Um, it, you exfoliate your body with it, and then you just pat it dry, and it's amazing, and I love it so much. I um, do it before and after I shave my legs, and my legs are so smooth after, and they're like shiny, so it's like good if you like in the summertime. It's going to be amazing. I'm definitely going to repurchase this once I run out but um it just leaves your skin really smooth and shiny and radiant and it's just amazing like if i was going to mexico with my parents i would be taking this and using it every single night before i went on the beach just saying it is flawless and then i also have two oh my god my my fingers are so weird now it's like oily and just weird okay um i have these things okay so I kind of already broke the caps off of both of them, so I because I um they fell. But oh my god, it's dripping water. Okay, now it's not. Okay. But it is just shampoo and conditioner, and I needed a good one so that my hair did not fade because red hair fades so fast and it is so annoying and it turns like orange so I got the matrix biolage um, color care therapy uh, shampoo and then they didn't have that conditioner but I just got the smooth therapy conditioner and I actually really like these together um, I'm gonna repurchase uh, the color care ones in the shampoo and conditioner from Amazon because they're cheaper on Amazon these are very these are like high-end products you usually can only get them at salons when my mom found them at Walmart but they're so expensive they're like $17 per um, per thingy and you know most shampoos are like $5 so they're super super expensive this one was actually like $20 so Praise my mom for actually buying them because she hates spending a lot of money on stuff like this because they're so small. They're only like, this is 10 um, fluid ounces, this is 16.9. So it really does not come with that much and I'm already like out of this. So I'm going to have to repurchase it off Amazon because it's cheaper on Amazon. But I really do like these. They're really good for my hair. My hair has become so much shinier and silkier and the color has been lasting a lot longer with this. So I think if I get the same conditioner, it'll last even longer because this does wash it out. So I really, really like these so much. This is an amazing line. Recommend it to all of you, the BioLage one. I don't know. They have like other ones too, but... And they have different kinds too. They are expensive. You can get them at the salons usually. Um... They usually use them at salons, so I got myself some high-ass shampoos. Then I've been eating these. I really do like Lay's like classic chips because I don't know, I just I like them. And I don't want to get like a huge bag and eat them all at once. So I get like the little like snack bags. I don't know. Um, it comes with six of them in here, and I just eat one every few days and I'm satisfied it satisfies my craving but there's not that much in each bag which is like maybe five chips in this bag like you know how it is half of its air so I like these because it satisfies my craving but it's not like a lot of it you know because I have no self-control honestly I don't when it comes to food so another foodish kind of favor I don't even know is just kidding, this isn't really a food favorite. I guess it's kind of, but like both of these things are my favorite. I've been loving lemon water, so there's like a lemon in here and water. And I actually just got this travel mug cup, I don't know, tumbler uh, yesterday from Starbucks. And it's the like venti size. I already have the grande size, but I wanted a bigger one. So this is 24, 26, something like that. Fluid ounces, and I've just been drinking like iced lemon water in here. For the past few days and quick tip if your pee is like really yellow that means you're not healthy 
like you're not drinking or really eating healthy foods but the, the more clear your pee is the healthier you are so my pee is like almost crystal clear because all I drink now is water and it's amazing and yes I did get Starbucks today because my parents you know they're going away so I'm not gonna get Starbucks for a week so I've got this for the past three days and it's the caramel flan latte with no whipped cream because whipped cream is disgusting on iced drinks and this is really good. It's not as good as I wish it was. It's like a little too bitter, but whatever. Ain't complaining. And I, I'm not about that whole like added sugar like life because they're already like really, really high in like calories and stuff. I'm like, no, no. This I just got yesterday as well, but it is my all time favorite thing. It is so much fun. Uh, my cats are obsessed with this. Actually, m one of my cats, Wojtek, like the little one that looks like a tiger, is obsessed with, like, no, he's not obsessed. He's terrified of the little red light. It's just like a laser pointer, you know, you know? And they're, like, so much fun to play with with a cat. Avoid direct eye exposure. Oh, I, like, shined it in my eyes. I'm probably gonna go blind now. Oops. But they're, like, so much fun just to, like, Oh my god, I have so much fun with this, and I have a little clip, so I'll play that like over here. But this is so much fun to play with with my cats. They're so obsessed with it, and it's just it's so funny to watch them like attack it. It's just I, I. Who needs friends when you have a laser pointer and three cats? Like, really? That's serious. Like, I don't need friends. I have that kind of entertainment. Um, one of my favorites is my new iPhone 5s. Ooh. Um, I really like the phone. It's a good phone. It works, so I like it a lot, and it's cool. It's really cute. I like the black one. I like that I got the black. I was kind of like regretting it, but I hate the white. I have the white front looks because, I don't know. Fun fact. Okay, I got a, it said it was going to be like an anti-glare screen protector, but this is not anti-glare. This is glare. This is very glary. So, kind of upset about that, but whatever. And I also love my new case. Just, let's give it a moment. How insanely cool is it? I'll even move in. How cool. It's like crackled mirror. And guess who made it? Yours truly. And guess who's doing a DIY and a giveaway? Yours truly. Um, I'm going to be doing a DIY on how to do this, and I'm going to be giving away another one, but it's for the iPhone 5, so I'm sorry for those of you who do not have the iPhone 5. Um, anyone with the iPhone 5 or the 5S can't enter the giveaway, and I'll have the video on it sometime this week or maybe next week. I haven't decided because I already put a DIY up this week. But I'm really, really excited to show you how I did this, and... I'm going to be giving one away. And another favorite case is this one, and it's one from Forever 21, and it's just like the ombre cat one, and I really like it. It's really cool. I don't know. And another favorite is my new Huff socks, and I don't know, I just, I've just i been wearing them a lot. I wore them today, actually, with this outfit. And, yeah, I just wear them whenever I'm wearing, like, my combat boots, because my short ones, because they just... I don't want you to be able to see my skin, so these are just like nice, I don't know, and I scrunch them so that they're like cute, and I don't know, I just, I like them. And then the black and gray, and I got them from Karma Loop, if you were wondering. I actually got someone a pair of them for their birthday, but we don't talk anymore, so I'm giving them to another friend, so suck it. And they were actually so hard to find, so I'm so mad about it, but whatever. Um, and my last favorite of this month is this. And so I don't even know what this thing's called. It's kind of like pudgy wudgy. I have honestly no idea. Uh, but it's just a unicorn one and it is so soft. Like this is the softest thing ever. Like I just fall asleep cuddling with it and I fall asleep petting it because it is just so pleasant to touch and to cuddle with. And I just, oh, I could fall asleep on it right now. It's so soft. Except th this thing is not soft. This horn, I don't even know what this is called. But this thing is so scratchy and stupid and I scratched my face on it because it has like tinsel in it. And I just, I don't like this, but the rest of it's really soft. This isn't as soft as I wish it was, but, oh my god, the stupid nose is scratchy too. 
like I don't know what side you're supposed to sleep on because like a pillow but I wouldn't sleep on that side I would sleep on like, just cuddling with it like this because then you could touch it and it's so soft and they're they have like a lot of them but I liked the unicorn then a cat the cat was really ugly but I like the unicorn its name is um Marvin no that's my unicorn no not my unicorn that's my snowman <sighs> I don't know. I tweeted it. I tweeted whatever its name is. So, I don't know. I don't remember its name. Sorry. Unicorn. Don't remember your name. I'm trying really hard. Let's find out what its name is, cuz... Now I'm curious. As to- I feel like- I named it something stupid, I know that. Cuz that's what makes it fun. Carlisle! I named it Charlie first, but then I changed it to Carlisle. So, this is Carlisle, and I love him. Oh, another favorite is putting my hair in a French braid. I've been doing that like all month because I don't put heat on my hair, and right now it's in a ponytail, but I hate it in a ponytail, and I know my hair is just gonna hurt after, so I'm probably gonna change it to a French braid right after this video. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for my next DIYs. I've been loving the whole DIY thing recently. And I also love this. You can check out my DIY on how to make this little glitter vase thingy. And it's super pretty. So if you want to find out how to make that, then just go ahead and check out my last video. And uh, anyways, I love you all. Hope you enjoy it and have an awesome day. Bye.